Four games into the pre-season tour and four wins for Manchester United. It all started with Perth, then Leeds followed, then Inter Milan, and today, 2-1 against Spurs. A good overall performance again from Manchester United, both in the first and the second half. I think we deserve the win. I think we're starting to see patterns emerge and themes emerge during this preseason that I want to talk about. But overall, United deserved that win today. An excellent goal from Martial. Yes, Gazaniga could have done better with the shot, but Martial, a tidy shot from a tough angle. Not quite as tough as the angle that Angel Gomez scored from. He'll be very delighted with that goal. And that's one theme I've certainly seen in this preseason is the academy players taking their opportunities. The likes of Mason Greenwood, Tahith Chong, and Angel Gomez. Nine goals United have scored in this preseason so far. Every single one of them has been scored or assisted by an academy player from United. That is an exciting reason to consider this preseason a success. And another reason I'm excited, something I've seen throughout every single game, certainly against Spurs today as well, United pressing with intensity. And it forced Spurs into playing faster football, less comfortable in their own possession, and they made mistakes, and United pounced on those mistakes, and that we created chances from those mistakes. And that's something I've seen in every single game so far. And in like 32 degree heat in Shanghai, United pressed with intensity. If we can do it there, we can do it in a murky, muddy 16 degrees of Manchester, whenever it's going to be. But United have been doing that throughout the whole preseason. But as much as I'm positive there about the academy players taking their opportunities, because I think they've done that, and pressing with intensity. The likes of Dan James and Wan Bissaka, I think, have had excellent pre-seasons in terms of settling into the team. And today, Dan James was si seemingly singled out by Sissoko, who decided to stamp on his chest in a pre-season friendly. Not very nice, mate. But as much as I'm seeing positive themes, I'm seeing concerns that I've had the whole pre-season, the whole summer, that still exist two weeks left in the transfer window. And the main one for me is midfield. When United have the ball in defence, especially our two centre-backs, that period of transitioning the ball from defence into attack through the middle and through the midfield is still so weak for United. And that's a huge concern because Scott McTominay, I think, played very well today. I arguably think he's probably going to be United's best midfielder next season. I said it on Twitter, but he's going to be our sort of Jordan Henderson. The player that other Fans of other clubs look and point at and say he's not good enough and laugh at him. But when you watch him week in, week out, you realise the work that he does for the team. And that's going to take the attitude up a level in midfield. But I still have major concerns over our midfield's ability to battle and win possession and just maintain a strong presence in the whole of midfield. We need someone like Ndombele coming in, but with two weeks left in the transfer window... I don't know what that is going to be. I don't know who that is going to be or whether or not Solskjaer is settling on a midfield set of options of Pogba, Fred, McTominay, Matic and Pereira. I don't think that's good enough to challenge properly for that third spot, which is where United are aiming for this season because City and Liverpool were still too far away from them to actually achieve that position, as far as I'm concerned anyway. I, as I said, I am positive about plenty of what I'm seeing this preseason, but... You can't be foolish and ignore the overall concerns that still exist. Two weeks left in the transfer window. And I still think there's so many things that United need to do. We need to buy a centre-back. We need to buy at least one central midfielder. We need to sell Rojo, sell Damian, sell Sanchez, sell Lukaku, maybe buy a Lukaku replacement. I'm going to run through all of that in a sort of a longer, more in-depth analysis on that tomorrow. So make sure you check that video out. But today... Positives. Another win under our belt. We're still seeing that pressing, that intensity of the pressing. That's clearly going to be an aspect of Solskjaer's game that we didn't have all too often last season. When we did, we flatlined towards the end of it because the players simply weren't fit enough. Now, that's not going to be the be-all and the end-all of United's problems, but it'll be a major, major improvement on a, on a lethargic type of style that we had under Mourinho. We were more rigid. Players didn't seem to move as much. Especially in attack, there was no movements for players to find each other with passes. That seems to be different. And that's why someone like Dan James is the right type of signing for Solskjaer, because he fits into that style completely. And I'm looking forward to seeing what that entails next season. But it should make United a hell of a lot harder to play against. 
because you, you don't have as much time on the ball. You can't rest on your laurels because United will be biting at your heels. And that's a big improvement. As I said, I think the major theme overall in midfield is that I think we're too weak there. I don't think we're good enough still in bringing the ball out from the back. And Eric Bai has just got an injury there. Sod knows if that's going to rule him out for another five, six months. It's a shame. He looks so good when he came from Villarreal, but he seems to be he's going to be one of those players that just gets injured all the time and there's nothing you can do about it. Overall, very happy. Four wins from four. All nine goals scored or assisted by someone from the academy. That's exciting. Players like Greenwood, Chong and Gomez really doing their utmost to take their opportunities on this preseason tour. But it's still concerns. We need a new centre-back. We need a central midfielder. That game against Spurs didn't expose it too much, but next season will. And Solskjaer will know that. And with two weeks left in the window, United have got a hell of a lot still more to do. Let me know what you're thinking after that. Four wins from four. We beat Perth. As I said, we've beaten Leeds. We've beaten Inter. We've beaten Spurs. Lots of reasons to be positive. But for me, still some reasons to be concerned as well. And I think Solskjaer will be too.